Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing another set sent to me from Target from their 2021 launch recently. And these are the Target RVB95 Gen 4 and I think this is one of my favourite looking sets from the new range so I hope they work well for me. Let's check them out. So I'm reviewing the 23 gram version and as the name suggests the 95% tungsten you can also get them in 21 and 25 grams in steel tip and 18 and 20 grams in soft tip and the retail for £104.85. So once again they come in a nice players box, really nice uh, graphics and pictures. On the back you've got the details of the darts and what's included in the package and as you can see you've got some nice graphics of the darts there inside there's a form insert holding the darts in place and as usual you get your little target pamphlet with your weight guarantee and it comes with the swiss point 2 and the darts are fitted with the target swiss point fire uh, i think they'll be the 26 mil and they also come with the RVB Heli, I think it said they were called, Pro Grip stems and I think the Heli refers to that uh, little pattern on the bottom of the stem and they're fitted with the RVB Gen 4 number 6 flights, nice little graphic on them which you might not be able to see but that's what you get in the pack. So as you can see the darts fit with the Swiss point fire points, they do look quite aggressive and nice close up there of the tapered nose and that gold looks really nice on that nail. I think nail's gone out of fashion over the years with a lot of people. I've never been a big fan of nail simply because it kind of feels a bit slippy but when it's on rings like this with grooves in between it feels better and I think it looks pretty good on these so you've got two wide nail rings and then in between them you've got these sections where it's like a kind of an angled ring grip with a little bit of gold on them as well but that's quite an interesting looking grip there one's like an angled uh, ring grip and then a, a normal ring and groove and then in between the two nails it's normal and then the next section mirrors the front so quite an interesting design there then you got the wide band with the target logo quite a few people have mentioned they don't like the look of these there's quite a few have said that they do like them as well but i am quite a fan of the gold uh, colored darts and i think these look pretty nice so that's me on the rear it's a pvd coated ring and groove grip which tapers towards the end of the barrel and then as you get to the end of the barrel there you can see the heli tie shafts it's a titanium stem with a kind of a angled spiral grip and then on the very end of that you've got a gold alloy top with a giant finger pushing it along <laughs> but there you go i think it's a nice looking dart myself so let me know what you think in the comments. So the darts fit with the 26mm Swiss fire points. There's a tapered nose which is a nail section with the gold tie coating on as you can see. That's 7mm and then you've got some wide nail rings and some wide groove sections that's 12.3 millimeters a smooth band with the target logo that's 5.6 millimeters and the rest of the barrel tapers towards the end and that's a, a thin ring and groove grip 22.1 millimeters length is 47 millimeters width is 7 millimeters grams 23.05 grams and 23.09 grams full setup 
25.68 grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Just the nail itself, it's probably just above medium level, but in between where the nailed rings and the groove sections are, it's fairly grippy there, so seven, and for the rest of the rear section, six. put me off a little bit that when the uh, stem got loose I still got air in the treble um, nice feeling grip there a little bit more grippy than I thought it was going to be probably down to the grooves in between the nailed rings just adding that little bit to it these uh, stems keep coming loose let's have a check I don't know why they're coming loose they've got the rubber o-rings on Nice front weighted style though. I'm trying to think maybe the 21 gram may have been more suitable. Occasionally these look as if they're starting to dip a little bit too early, but maybe just trying to get the hang of them first. <sighs> Got the last one in, but think it's probably going to be a nice start I just need to practice with it a little bit more but yeah that front section with the knurl grip it's quite pleasant actually and chunky there so for me as a front gripper quite like that that's not in the treble is it it is I don't know that got in it sneaked in. I'm gripping maybe just around where the smooth band is, probably just a little bit past it. So getting a little bit of the ring grip as well. So doesn't feel quite as nice there from the front though, as it was from the front, I should say. But. I have a feeling this is a one that rear and front grippers are going to like the best if you're a rear gripper that likes a front weighted style. Going a bit fishtaily them too. It will work for a middle gripper I guess but I don't know. Depends if you need more grip. I think a lot of middle grip is maybe closer to that smooth section than the ring grip, so I guess it's one of them things, but I definitely preferred the front. A little bit high. First and last one, not too bad, but a little bit uh, spirally but can certainly feel more front heavy from that rear section. I have to keep looking because with that uh, stem being the same color, I'm not sure if I'm going past that sometimes. But if you're a rear gripper that likes this style, I think you should be happy with these. You got a decent level of grip, not as much as it was on the front, but it feels comfortable in the fingers there, so. Yeah, it should be fine for rear grippers that. I think I preferred throwing it from the rear front than I did from the middle. I don't know why, because you would think I'd prefer the middle, but obviously as a front gripper, that front section I think is really nice.
So there you go. That's the Target RVB Gen 4. Uh, really nice one for front grippers and probably for rear grippers if you're into your front weighted style. Um, grip on that front section I thought was quite nice actually. Um, it's not massively grippy but it just feels like you've got something that's easy to control. It's not going to like give you problems. Release is easy but at the same time it's not slippy and certainly not like nail of old when you get it in a full section the old nail i don't know why but when it's in a full section to me personally it always feels slippy but like i said when it's on rings i think it's a different feeling and i do think that gold tie might be adding a little bit to it as well but they've actually got quite wide grooves in these with a little bit of different kind of gripping between the grooves so just feels really nice there and nicely front weighted as well for me but i have a feeling that i'd probably get on better with the 21 gram don't know why but uh, overall really nice start um probably a nice one to get if you're into your front grip style um middle grip is not too sure don't know why it just didn't feel right from the middle but it didn't feel too bad from the rear so there you go so that's the end of this video thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one Happy dating.